Corona Could be such a nasty bitch But now that she's here, boy, all I want Is for you to use common sense Welcome back to my channel. What color are we doing today? Obviously we're doing pink. Okay, now that we're done with that awkward scene, I have a shout out. It's been a while, but I have a shout out. So shout out to Michael Muncher for being my first to comment for not one, not two, but three videos in a row. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. But if anyone else wants to challenge Michael and see if they can beat him to the punch and comment before him, maybe you'll get a shout out too. But other than that, thank you guys for being patient with me. If you missed my community post, I had a big fat face. I'll probably put the picture here. I had to take a little break. But um, in my state, at least, we have another extended 30 days for lockdown. So we still have plenty of time to hang out here during lockdown. Hope everyone is staying safe and without further ado, let's jump into the video. Today we're obviously doing pink leggings like I said. One will be high end, one will be low end, and we're going to get into that right now. First up, we're starting out with our high-end pair. These are the Notorious Lululemon All the Right Places leggings. I don't know the exact price off the top of my head, but I'll have it on the screen. I think they're a little bit over $100, maybe $110, $120. When I say high-end, I mean extremely high-end. Definitely a favorite out of all of Lululemon's customers. I have to say... They're pretty darn good. If you haven't seen my last couple of videos, we're trying out a new thing where I don't specifically waste my time telling you every little detail of the leggings. Instead, I tell you a little story time. And as promised in my community post today, we are talking about something that I do not want to talk about in any way, shape, or form. And that is my teeth. Yes, I had to not film for a week because my face blew up. And I wish I could say that, that was the first time that that's happened, but that would be a lie. It happens um, more often than I would care to admit. So my family is English on my dad's side. And as far back as I can remember, we've all had really, really thin teeth, just brittle, paper thin teeth. So my brothers, my dad, my aunt, my grandpa, my grandma. You get the picture, right? I remember having like a silver tooth. Who does that? In like second grade, instead of capping it with a white, I don't know, I guess that's what they used to do back then, but I did have one. In second grade, I knew this time would come. I did, but um, I wasn't ready yet. But anyways, <laughs> I'm avoiding the topic very intentionally, but I don't know why, because I'm gonna get it out eventually anyways. So I have really bad teeth and they keep cracking and breaking which causes infections and I get one removed and then the next one goes and I have like no teeth left in the back, right? Okay. And now they are all going. I have one in the front down here that's like chipped and like you can see it in some of my videos. I don't know if you guys pay attention, but I definitely do. These are super, super high waisted. And they do have some tummy control in the back. They have a seam at the top of the waistband. But in the front of the waistband, they're seamless. It's very different to any pair of leggings and it's really, really awesome. It helps a lot to not create that muffin top in the front, but it also keeps the leggings in place. Also, nothing going on right here. So yeah, my teeth are getting really bad and there's some options for sure, but I will have to eventually at some point get them every single one of them removed. And so there's the option of having no teeth. <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. There's the option of dentures, also a hard no for me. 
There's the option of veneers, which sound nice in theory, but those are around $40,000. So unless one of you wants to Venmo me that, probably not going to happen. So I think the best option for me is to get all of them worked on one by one. It's going to be a long road for me, but eventually they'll all be fake and I'll be happy because then I won't have to be in pain anymore and I can go on with my life not worrying about them breaking on me. So that's that story. I've been trying to avoid it and pretend like my teeth aren't falling out of my mouth, but they are and I can't hide it anymore so now you guys know. All right, perfect. All right, so the leggings. I rate them an easy 9.5. Okay, they got the pockets. They do really good things for keeping me not as fat as I really am, which is really fat. Um, the only problem I have with these is they're pretty long. I'm pretty short, but they're really long. Like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, maybe even 5'10". Could get away with them. I have so much bunching at the ankle. Are they worth the money? I don't think any pair of leggings is worth $110, $120, to be completely honest. That's really ridiculous, but they're amazing. They do the job, like they're really, really good leggings. I don't have anything bad to say about them, but man, that's, that's a whole monthly bill, you know? If uh, you're not tight on money and you want a really, 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 really good pair of leggings, does really good things with shaping on the back, yeah, I totally recommend the All the Right Places leggings from Lululemon. But now we're going to jump into our not low end, they're just affordable. We're gonna jump into those now. Okay, so this, that was so like not graceful at all. All right, so this pair of leggings is from the brand called Vina, or some might say Vina, but I call it Vina. V-I-N-A. It's actually a sister brand to 90 Degree by Reflex. If you go to 90 Degree by Reflex website, you'll see that they have a section that says Vena. You can get Vena leggings, brand new, at Marshalls or at TJ Maxx for as low as $15. I think the average price is probably around 20 On their website, they say like $30. There's never been a time that I've gone to TJ Maxx or Marshalls where they haven't had a pair of 90 Degree by Reflex leggings for the price of like $20. So just saying, this is like $100 cheaper. This is like probably the biggest difference that we have had yet. So big deal. But anyways, into the second story time while I show you these leggings. So this is going to be about the time that I caught my then boyfriend. Someone I was seeing who wasn't supposed to be seeing other people, right? Okay. Just put it like that. Flashback to years ago. I'm seeing this guy who I know very, very well. Let's just say that I've known him for 16 years. I know him well. There's been a lot of back and forth in our relationship. I suspected that something wasn't right. Girls know, okay? Girls just know. These two have a very defined seam up the top. It is flat line, but it's a very defined seam at the top. They're about mid-rise. Anyways, I suspected something wasn't right. Suspected because he made it really, 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 really obvious. I knew that he had been on dating apps in the past. Me and my friends, we started a little plan. We're gonna find him on Tinder. Quick pause, look at this perforation. I love it. So she finds him. In my eyes, that's cheating. You're looking for other females while you're with someone else. So first of all, it's already done and over at that point, but the crazy part is, how do I say this without giving away who it is? It's really hard to say. There was something really, 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 really important, like really super important going on in my life, okay? I was in the hospital, I'll just say that. The extreme of the situation involved him. Any person with morals would have been there. Very disgusting, immoral, like unthinkable for him not to be there, okay? 
And then there's something else that I can't include because it'll give away who it is. But there's something else where it was like, oh, you for sure should have helped me out in that situation. But he didn't. And I knew he was lying, okay? I needed him that day for many, many reasons. And he said he was working late. He's a terrible liar, first of all. And he has a history of being a pathological liar. So, I already knew that was total bullshit. So, I'm like, okay, we already caught him on Tinder. Let's see if we can catch him in a lie and prove that he's not actually working late. My friend is a bombshell, and he's okay on his best day. I dated him, so I can't say much, but not my finest moment, okay? So anyways, of course I knew when he sees this bombshell girl, he's going to swipe left, right? Swipe yes on her. And he did. I'm like, okay, start a conversation with him, but like we gotta like set it up to where he's not suspicious about it. She's like, I think I know you from somewhere. That was her first message. He responds, of course. He's like, oh, I don't know, whatever. And so she just makes this excuse like, oh my gosh, do you go to this gym? Which of course I knew was his gym. And he's like, oh my God, yeah, I do go there. That's what struck up the conversation. But the funny part is the reason he went to that gym, your girl, me. Hello. He's like, oh my god, you're so pretty. I thought you were a robot. Like, I didn't even think you were real. In this, like, 10-minute conversation, I wrote it down. He lied 11 times in a 10-minute conversation, you guys. Pathological liar. The funniest thing that he lied about. Her name is also... Do I say my real name on here? Yeah, you guys know my real name. So my real name is Brittany. For anyone that didn't know that. It's spelled B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y. The correct way. My friend happened to have the same name, but she spells her name differently. They got on the subject of me. I can't tell you how it wasn't weird that I was brought up, but I was brought up and it wasn't weird, okay? Talk about the stupidest possible things that you could possibly lie about. He's like, oh yeah, that's so-and-so's name. Talk about me. He's like, and she spells it the same way as you too. First of all, he's known me for 16 years. He knows damn well how to spell my name. So it was very intentional that he lied about it. Like, why would you lie about how someone spells their name? We should start a series about all the lies that he's told me. They're not even good. She keeps talking to him, right? And she's like, well, I gotta go to work, but um, I'll be at the gym. Uh, tomorrow, which was the day that I needed him, at such and such time, whatever, will you be there? <laughs> and he dug his grave right there by saying, oh yeah, I get off work at three, I'll be there after. That was probably the most despicable thing he's ever done to me, and I wish I could tell you guys the full reason and like why it's so disgusting that he wasn't there, but I can't. So I'll just leave it at that. He's a disgusting human being. And it's funny because he was lying about working that night because he was going on a first date with some Tinder hoe. And he's still with this chick. Get out while you still can. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So yeah, I do have juicy stories. It's just which ones do I want to tell? I could go on forever with stories about that. So if you do like that story and want to hear more, X stories. <laughs> I have like chronicles. Like there's like 99 chapters. But I would rate this pair of leggings probably a 7.5 out of 10. And there's a few reasons for that. There can be some CT depending on how you stand. I don't like the seam up the top. They could be higher. And on top of that, they're just not the material for me. I feel like they could be a little bit thicker, a little bit more durable. But hey, the price is, what, $20? So I can't really complain about that. So for a $20 pair of leggings, I say yes, 100% go for it. But if we're comparing it to the $110, $20 pair of Lululemon leggings, obviously those ones surpassed it like 100% in this case. So for this video, I do have to hand it over to the Lululemon leggings, but I will tell you that I do still really like this pair as well. 
But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to SNL before you go. Always remember that I love you more than leggings itself, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay peachy, friends. They, they do the work, they do the... Hold up. <laughs> Did I say that right? Nope. But that's it for t but that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for.